Hello everyone, my name is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, today we are going to learn about tensor RT. We'll start by understanding what it is and why it is important. Then we'll go through the steps of downloading and installing tensor RT so that we can use it. After that, we'll learn how to export a PyTorch model into a tensor RT model. And finally, we will test both the model, the PyTorch model and the tensor RT model. And we will see how much fast is the tensor rt model as compared to the uh, this pytorch model okay so what is tensor rt tensor rt is a high performance deep learning inference library developed by nvidia and it is specially designed for real time applications real time applications are those applications that require immediate processing and response to input data okay such as object detection so Tensor RT is built to take advantage of the power of NVIDIA's GPU and Tensor RT is built on CUDA which is NVIDIA's parallel programming model and by utilizing this parallel processing capability of GPUs, Tensor RT can achieve significant speed ups in the inference time. So, in many real-time services and embedded application, Tensor RT can deliver approximately four to five times faster inference as compared to the traditional methods and according to the documentation tensor rt can provide up to 40 times faster inference speed compared to the uh, cpu only performance okay so this makes tensor rt one of the fastest way to run a model currently available making it ideal for applications where speed and efficiency are crucial things uh, now let's see how to download and install tensor rt to install tensor rt your pc need to have cuda and you can check your cuda version like this go to your c drive and then program files here you will see nvidia gpu computing toolkit click on it and you will see a CUDA folder inside it if you have CUDA installed in your PC then you will get this folder okay so here you will see the CUDA version so in my case case I have installed uh, different versions of CUDA so that's why uh, you can see different folders over here and this 11.8 means the CUDA version 11.8 so you need to have CUDA and I am assuming for today's tutorial that you already have CUDA installed Next step is to download Tensor RT and to download Tensor RT, right? Like this and open this first link. So click on this download now. So guys, uh, you have to log in this page first, then only you can access all the files, then only you can install Tensor RT. Okay, in my case, I have already logged in. So that's why I'm redirected to this page. And here you can see the different Tensor RT versions. So let's click on this Tensor RT 8. Okay, click on the terms and conditions and this is tensor rt 8.6 then tensor rt 8.5 tensor rt 8.4 so i'm installing i have installed this version okay you can install the version as per your requirement so i am just showing you this uh, today's tutorial with this version so click on it and here as per your device if you have a linux machine then you can download from one of the file from here but in my case i have a windows machine so i have downloaded this one okay so here they have mentioned so if you are you if you have cuda 11.0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 then you will install this one if you have cuda 10.2 then you will install this uh, this uh, this zip file okay so i if you'll click on it if you'll click on it download will start and you will see a zip file see the download start and you can open the folder your downloads folder and there you can see it now let's go to the downloads folder okay here this kind of zip file you will get and then you'll extract the zip file and here you will get this kind of folder and open it you will see these different folders over here right now we have downloaded the tensor rt now we will install tensor rt now how to install tensor rt you have to open the folder where your cuda is 
so we will not close this folder because we need some files from here and we also need to open the CUDA folder so open that folder also so so go to the program files NVIDIA GPU here CUDA and go to the uh, CUDA version let's suppose we want to work in uh, 11.6 CUDA let's open that file and here open the bin folder okay now we have this CUDA folder here and we have the tensor RT folder here so this is a tensor RT folder and this is a CUDA folder from tensor RT folder open the lib folder and from the slip folder you have to copy all the dll files see the files which are ending with dot dll select all the dll files this one this 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 one this and this see i have just selected the files which are ending with dot dll we need to select these files and then copy these files and you have to paste these files in bin folder of your CUDA so I have already pasted these files let me show you where these files are see in my case these are the files right so this is the first step now the next step is go back to the tensorrt folder open the python folder this and open your command prompt so guys i always recommend to create a separate python environment and work under it so these are the steps you can follow these steps and you will have your own separate environment so once you create your environment just activate the environment so in my case the environment name is my venv scripts and then i'm activating the environment here so that's why I have activated the environment because now I'm going to run a few commands. We will install few packages using pip and where we want to install that package. We want to install all those packages in this separate Python environment. Okay, so that's why I have created the environment. So from this Python, so guys, this uh, CP36 means if you have Python 3.6, you will use this line. If you have Python 3.7, then this uh, wheel file will be helpful to you. If you have Python 3.8, you will use this one. If you have Python 3.9, you will use this command. And if you have Python 3.10, then you will use this command. And you see, after that, we don't have 3.11 and 3.12 over here. So that means this tensor RT version, this 8.4 will work for these Python versions. So in my case, I have let me show you the python version which i have in for this environment so it's python 3.9 so that means this command will work for me now you will write this here python.exe-m pip install and after that copy this path entire path of the folder paste it here and then again slash and just get the name of this file and paste the file name here and then press enter so this is the first command so in my case guys i have already installed this command so that's why i'm getting this tensor art is already installed with the same version after that let's come out from this python folder and you have to go inside this graph surgeon folder here and write till here the path of the folder and then here you write the graph surgeon then slash copy the name of this file paste here and then enter so this is the second step the third step is this time you have to go inside this uff folder just like this and here you will write the uff folder and then slash the file name this right so we have copied this name and we have pasted over here and then hit enter 
so this will be our next tab come out from this folder also and then now we have to go in this folder open this folder go to this command this and which folder we want to go o n n x and so on this and then the file name is this okay so we have copied the name of this file and we have pasted it here in my case i have already uh, done with all these steps already so that's why i'm getting this already installed okay now tensor rta is installed and next step is we will uh, take the yolo v8 model pre trained model uh, which is in uh, pytorch format and we will convert it into tensor rt and then we will use we will take one test video and we will run the te this tensor rt yolo v8 model and the pytorch yolo v8 model on the same input video and we will see what is the time difference between them let's open a jupyter notebook here we will uh, write a script which will convert the pytorch model into a tensor rt model so this is it first you need to install the ultralytics package so this is how you install it pip install ultralytics after that you can import the yolo model from ultralytics like this and this is the yolo v8 pretrained model which is trained on coco dataset so we will uh, we want to convert this pytorch model into a tensor rt model so whenever you want to convert your pytorch model whenever you want to convert your model into tensor rt so you have to define this engine dot pt means this is a pytorch mean uh, pytorch model but if your model ends with dot engine that means it is a tensor rt model okay so format is engine device 0 and let's run this this will give you a uh, yolo v8 model with dot engine extension which will be your tensor rt model so see here yolo v8 n dot engine so we will get this tensor rt model in a current working directory where are uh, where this jupyter notebook is so let's open the folder and you can see here so this is a uh, tensor rt model now now this is the video on which we want to perform testing let's open it so on this video i will run both the model pytorch model and the tensor rt model and we will see how much uh, uh, time they both uh, take to process this video so let's go back here and like this this is a model our tensor rt model task we want to perform detection and on this video we want to work save true means if you want to save the output in a runs folder okay so let's execute it so it is still processing so processing has been done let's scroll down and see so guys here the inference time is this 3.3 milliseconds now let's test the same video with dot pytorch model this is a pytorch model this is the same video now let's run it it's still under processing okay now let's see the time see guys it took 9.1 milliseconds to process the video the pytorch model so guys here you can see the speed difference so tensor rt models are faster and this is just a simple example when your applications are more complex then you can uh, see the huge difference okay i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching